shoot, today's a sad day. It's over. I'm a failure. I quit. My world is shattering. The sky is falling. We're not allowed to have that Eeyore type shit in here. I can't, I haven't been able to breathe through both my nostrils in six days, okay? The oxygen to my brain is low. What is going on into the mic like that? I want to let them know where I'm at. I coughed up blood. You ever coughed up blood? No, no, no. It's just because the tonsils get a little inflamed. You get a little boogie blood. Oh, you know? Oh, you're a doctor now. Well, I've had boogie blood. You've never had boogie blood before? That's pretty much all the time. Yeah, see? A little boogie blood ain't scary. I failed. I'll tell you guys why I failed. Join along. Uh, may be wondering where the 705 deadlift is. Sometimes I think one of my best attributes as like a lifter, an athlete, or even like a business owner is the uh, ability to pivot. And some may call that like soft or a failure or like not caring enough or something. But for me, it's just like in certain aspects of my life, I'm really good with rolling with the punches. So we had the deload week and we were supposed to pull a PR. Um, that was a goal that we built up three or four months with Coach Joe. Shout out to Coach Joe Stan at game day for helping me along this path. Wednesday or Thursday, I um, started to get a little sore throat. So I was like, all right, hit the crew. It's like, hey, I'm going to take the day off, chill, see what happens, try to rest up. One, I don't want to get the team sick. Two, I ain't no tough, fake badass. I think if you're sick, one, it's just like literally a dickhead move to get people around you sick. Like, beside, like could I have deadlifted that day? Yeah, man, I probably could have. But... There's bigger picture things. So I don't want to get anyone in my gym sick. I don't want to get my employees sick. Thursday, uh, still sore throat, a little bit of congestion. I'm coughing some shit up, take it off. Friday, um, it starts to grow a little bit more in my chest and my face. Um, I'm pretty sure I just had a bad cold, but I I'm known to have like sinus infections. I don't know if you guys ever had any of those, but um, it's not the worst thing. Like I've been way sicker. But I don't even know if it's contagious. I ain't a doctor. So, again, I take it off. I hit up Seabass. We were talking. I was like, all right, man, we'll see what Saturday looks like. I may pull or not. I woke up Saturday, and I swear my vision was like this. And I like, couldn't breathe. Walking on my stairs got a little tight in my chest and my nose. Um, and lived to lift another day. So we decided to kind of scratch the deadlift. Um, it sucks. Uh, part of, like, what I think a lot of people enjoy about powerlifting is – the journey there and then like the end day to really push yourself and you're working, 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 delayed gratification for a big PR, a big thing. I don't necessarily find satisfaction in that, but I wanted to do it because it's part of the culture. It's part of, I do enjoy training um, and I enjoy sharing the journey with you guys, the lessons along the way. I'm not heartbroken over this. Am I a little disappointed? Sure. So wake up Saturday, vision's real bad. Wake up Sunday, vision's even worse. I'm coughing, I'm loogieing everywhere. I literally stayed in bed Saturday, Sunday, didn't move an ounce. Just ordered smoothies and drank smoothies all day. So nutrition, sleep, everything's a little bit fucked. And who knows? So right now it's Tuesday. Um, yesterday I started to feel a little bit normal, at least I could see. Today I don't feel great, but I don't feel bad. So I'm going to get a super light just chest workout in and walk a little bit. As far as a PR deadlift, it's probably not in the books this month. It might be. I mean, if I feel absolutely dope tomorrow, who knows? Maybe we come in here and pull. Um, but eventually, as you taper for PRing, we need to keep our base level of fitness and strength while letting fatigue dissipate so we can perform our best. But if you wait too long, the reason people don't just like crush themselves with volume, take a month off and then PR is because that level of fitness will also go down with the level of uh, fatigue. And so for the level of fitness, obviously we're not prepared to do what we want to perform. Um, so that's kind of where we're at now. Appreciate y'all following along, you know. Uh, I'm not exactly excited. This is because it's not the story I had in my mind, right? We always have these expectations. My expectation was I was going to pull a big PR at least 680 um, and then go off into our cut and get shredded again and bring you guys along on that journey, which we're still going to do. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to start that this week, um, tracking and, and a little bit of cardio and a more of a aesthetic bodybuilding style training, training probably a little frequency, a little bit up. Uh, training was really hard for powerlifting for me because those sessions take a lot out of me mentally and physically. And so four heavy lower body days is really difficult. My upper body lacked. 
Um, my cardio lacked, even my diet and nutrition. My stress has just been through the roof as we have a big powerlifting meet coming. Um, we got uh, the Arnold with Avi coming. We got a couple of clothing launches coming. So my place is pretty full. And again, those aren't excuses. You call me soft, you call me whatever you want. But to me, it's just how I pivot through life and how I prioritize things. And to me, my team comes first, the gym comes first, good company comes first. And then my lifting and stuff's like way the fuck down here. You know, it's like priority six, seven. Yeah, my health matters, and that's why I decided to sleep. And that's why I want to lose a little bit of weight again and get back into the routine of regular cardio um, and just feel better. So that's where we stand. Call it the end of the deadlift. Call it the end of, uh, you know, being strong. I should still be able to keep some of that deadlift strength through my, my bodybuilding training. I think I'm going to do two lower days a week. Um, and I'll probably prioritize just like heavy singles, heavy triples on squat and deads, followed up by more hypertrophy stuff. So the volume will be down in terms of strength volume, the twos, the threes, the fives. But I'll hit it something decently heavy, and then we'll go on to you know leg press, leg extension, lunges, try some newer things to kind of keep the variety up and have some fun. So that's where we stand. I'm not stoked on it. You're probably not stoked on it. What do they call it? Anticlimactic. But that's life sometimes, kids. Live to lift another day. I can pull a PR a year from now or two years from now if I want. I am getting older, but I ain't old yet. I ain't dead yet. So uh, we're going to continue to push. So a little chest workout today. And then we got a podcast. Busy week coming. A bunch of a variety of content, too. we got some uh, equipment reviews. I'm going to teach you guys how to build, you know, set up a, a platform for powerlifting meets and powerlifting behind the scenes. we got a bunch of visitors visiting in town the next two weeks. So it's going to be chaos. Plus the vlogs when we go to Arnold and watch Abby absolutely smash it. Um, we'll probably cover some of her training as well leading up to this meet. She's on an absolute tear right now prepping, so stay tuned to that. We're just going to hit like a couple sets, probably just one set here, get a little pump, a little shoulder set to pump, tricep to pump. Just get some blood flowing again, you know? When you're getting sick, you don't want to come in and follow X's and O's. We're just going to continue going. I'll walk. No bit of a random video, y'all, but just want to update you on where my head is at, what's been happening the last week. Um, we got so much going on, I can't even tell you. So I know that sounds what every YouTuber ever says that gets you to click on the next video, but we just got a lot going on. So um, I'm trying to gather my thoughts as a business owner, as a boss, as a meat director, as a designer. Um, a lot of hats going on, a lot of hats I'm wearing, a lot of balls I'm juggling. Um, so stay tuned. So podcast over this check that out 50 percent facts every uh wednesday and friday if you guys were into podcasts on your travels or your daily activities and then uh brand new videos man every wednesday thursday shorts every single day so turn on notifications be sure to subscribe appreciate you guys coming with this journey um leave your questions below man i'm happy to answer you want to talk shit i'm happy to answer that too and then uh we'll continue vlogging so not daily vlogs but we're going to be videotaping every single day because we got so much going on that i want to share with y'all um i'm gonna finish this up get a walk in try to get some food in clear my lungs a little bit and then uh Catch you guys in the next one.